Hey, what's up, guys? It's Craig Syracuse of Walking Faith. It is September 1st. It's definitely, I feel the fall approaching. Summer, we had a nice time, but it's time for the fall. September 1st, regret. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just, and we will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. That's John. Is there anything in your life that brings you shame? Are there any memories or choices you've made that you hide from others because of how much they embarrass you? Perhaps you've tried to run from those sins, but time has not healed you. You still feel disgrace. The bidding feelings of regret and unworthiness won't go away. Friend, God never intended for us to live this way. When he forgives you, he does so in a manner that takes away your terrible shame forever. That's Psalm. Sin is no longer part of who you are. You are clean, redeemed, a person who is loved and valued. So don't get stuck in the past. Don't allow memories of your failures to keep you from what your Heavenly Father created you to do. Ask God to pardon you. Then forgive yourself and embrace your true identity in Christ. Forgiven, cleansed in a powerful vessel of His grace. Lord Jesus, thank you for your forgiveness and grace. I can move forward with no regrets because you, my Savior, make me new. Amen. In His presence is there, is where you are made new. So a lot going on here. I mean, a lot of us live with regret. A lot of us say, God will never forgive me, or I can't go to church, you don't know I'm a sinner. I've sinned against God, I've committed this this, this awful act. But God does forgive us. That's what, that's what the enemy wants us to think is that those memories that come up, right? The enemy, it's our own thoughts that say, you know, you're embarrassed. You shouldn't have done that. How could you live with yourself? Or how could God ever forgive you? How can a Heavenly Father ever forgive you? How can anyone forgive? How could you forgive yourself? That constantly plays over and over in our minds. But God forgave us. The minute that we said to God, I need to repent or I need you to forgive me or I'm sorry, that's when God forgave us, right? We go to confession. Sometimes people go. Some people don't, right? I know it's uncomfortable. But the minute we do that, we take that act. He forgives us. But the only one that sort of replays that over and over is ourselves, right? We're the ones that constantly replay that memory over and over. And that's what the enemy wants. The enemy wants to keep us away from building a relationship with Christ. Keep us away from church. Keep us from really building a relationship to know that God is a loving and heavenly father. And if he could do that by constantly, or even ourselves, by replaying these memories and over and over, that keeps us away from God's best for our lives, right? The purpose that we have. So what I want you to do is, if there is something that you constantly replay over and over in your mind, know that God forgave you. You're forgiven. So you need to forgive yourself. You need to move on. And don't, you know, stop going to church or not build a relationship with Christ because you think he'll never forgive you because he has forgiven you. Don't be distracted by those thoughts and those memories. Continue to build a relationship with Christ. The summer's over. There's no more beach. There's no more pool. It's time to build a relationship with Christ. Until next time, always remember you're the ability to inspire to evangelize through your words and actions.